What's up everyone? Welcome back to Minecraft. Here is another one of our, um, what do you call it, <laughs> our proof of concept videos. Here we are on the Vinaycraft server and I decided that I was going to build, or the first thing that I was going to build on the server was a roulette table. So really this is a proof of concept video just to make sure that people know that it is possible to build it. And as you can see, it's pretty awesome so far. <laughs> so let me kind of briefly explain how this works. Um, so basically we have a little area in here kind of representing a roulette table. So the uh, lights spin around and then every so often it, it'll stop. Or not every so often, but once we activate it with this button over here, then the, the uh, system will activate. Now, how is it that we place down bets? Well, that's a good question. You probably saw it over here. Um, but you actually have the ability of choosing which spot that you want to bet on. Um, and then so you can choose like one of these eight blocks here. So you can say, oh, I want the top top gold one. And so when that lights up, then you win. Um, but let's just say you want, of course, uh, just the iron blocks. You just want the gold blocks. So you can definitely do that over here as well. So let's kind of demonstrate it in action. So basically, I'll choose the spot that I want. So I'll choose that I want to bet on iron. So what happens is um, you have a one in two chance of winning. So basically after we activate it, or I guess we need to fill it up. So we'll fill it up with our game land tokens and uh, then we'll activate it. So we'll press the start and what happens is it sends off one of our tokens and it activates it. So it landed on gold. So we wanted iron, so it's not gonna give us anything. So we'll still say that we want iron, so it's still activated on the other spot. We'll say, okay, we'll start the machine again, and let's hope that we land on iron, which we do. So it landed on the iron block over here, so it'll give us two game land tokens back. So now we are back to even. So I'm just gonna pop that back in there. Now let's just say that we want to bet on one of these squares, so let's say, what we want the one here on the right so we want that gold spot um, and so we will hopefully you know we'll just kind of wait on this and we'll activate it so basically once it goes around we'll see where it stops and it actually landed over there so that's not what we want so obviously we didn't win um, we just end up losing one of our tokens so let's go ahead and oop, activate it again, see where it ends up. Oh, landed on that same spot over there. Okay, that's no fun. But basically what happens is you have a one in eight chance of winning on this one. So if you do win, it gives you um, your one token back and then also eight more. So you end up winning eight. So that's cool. Um, but let's kind of briefly show how this works. So let me go back into game mode one and we can fly around and kind of show you how this all works so there's a lot of redstone involved in this <laughs> basically here is our track selector um, basically what happens is it resets itself every time you press a different button so as an example let's press this one and you can see it activates that redstone and if you saw the top pistons all pushed back out so let me take another step back and kind of show it again so if we choose this one here then the back row of pistons end up pushing uh, push all the to reset all these other lanes but the redstone signal is long enough over here so that you're able to select the track now what's the messy part is is all of this here so it's just a series of lines um, basically like I said you have all these uh, selectors over here and once you select it then the trail of wires go down to the bottom but maybe the best part where we can start at is looking at here in the bottom area here. Um, if I can get down there. So basically what happens is there's a redstone signal that travels around in a circle and that's what the lighting is up on the top. So there's a series of redstone lamps just right above this block here um, and as it goes around the signal powers the block and it powers the redstone dust or the redstone lamp above. So this just keeps going around. Now when you activate, or basically what happens is when you send in a, a gold nugget or one of our game land tokens, a uh, redstone signal comes down to the bottom and activates this redstone. 
So what happens is when the redstone uh, repeater feeds into this repeater, it ends up locking the signal. And at the same time, it locks, it locks the redstone here, here, and also here. Now let's go ahead and fly over here. What happens over on this side is this light keeps flashing. So if the redstone is locked, then the signal is going to be powered, which will power this redstone on top, which will depower these redstone torches. Basically saying if um, the redstone is highlighted onto this block here, then this redstone you know, gets activated. And this redstone over here is linked back up to each of the track selectors on the top. So basically if we follow this redstone path over here, then if it's saying, okay, so if the redstone um, roulette table is linked on that spot and you also select this spot, then this torch is activated. So basically it's an AND gate. So if we follow this path, it'll go all the way back to, well, it'll go all the way back to over here where we are selecting our redstone nugget. So basically what's over here is, so if you select the one track as well as select the other track, um, you get a, basically this is a pulse extender or pulse repeater. So it'll repeat nine times. So basically if you select the right block and you um, it lands on the right block, then it'll repeat nine times and it will give you nine of the uh, game land tokens. Same thing kind of happens with the other one. So I don't know if you saw, let's go back over to the same one just so that we can kind of make sure we're looking at the same one. So what you saw is there's a block or a torch going off in this direction. So that's if the block was um, where you chose the right block and it landed the right block. Now what happens if you wanted like, oh, well, I want gold only. Okay, so if it's on gold only, then this torch goes and lights up and it travels over here. And this selection here goes into this block. And so this one, I mean, don't want to just watch the pathing, but it also lights up to the, um, the gold only block here. So basically, if you wanted gold only and it lands on one of the possible, you know, four gold blocks, which you can see in this path here, then that is what's going to happen. Um, also, uh, same thing goes with the other ones. So basically, that's that's how it works. It's just a series of AND gates. It's a lot nicer looking down here than it is over here behind me. Um, but basically, I have them wired up so that um, it just kind of it kind of makes sense. So all the ones with these blocks of andesite are the ones that are linked up to the selector. All the ones with the wood blocks are the ones that are connected up to the roulette table. The gold blocks are the ones that are for the win conditions if you actually get the one correct. And then the other one, the other condition, are these white, um, these, uh, well, quartz blocks. So basically, if you get the, you know, select either gold or iron and you win, then what happens is the redstone, it's the same logic gate as was going on with the uh, gold block, but basically it feeds into here. And this is um, just a, I don't know, just a way that I messily created a two pulse. So what happens is the redstone fires into here, which Im instantly fires the um, piston, which causes or is the piston to extend. But then since redstone can't travel through the extended piston, it doesn't fire anymore. And then after a short while, then this redstone kicks in. So basically it causes two pulses. Oops two pulses to go into this which dispenses our game land tokens and basically it just shoots over a water or an ice block over here and back into the wind conditions. So let's hope that we can get it again. Let's choose the top one and let's start it up. So let's hope we get the top one. Maybe we can end on a good note and it doesn't. Okay, one, one last try. Here we go. And it's probably, yeah, that one. Okay, well, anyway, you guys know how it works. It's be pretty good. I just need to uh, work on the uh, <laughs> decorating here because it looks kind of plain. Um, but yeah, just wanted to create this proof of concept video so you knew that it was possible to make it. You know, it was certainly a lot of work, but it was definitely really worth it in terms of seeing how this thing turned out. So if you have questions, put it down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to help you out. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.